Can you tell us a little bit about the discipline from coaching? Well, I think a coach himself has to uh, have discipline or self-discipline that he's going to provide his players. When I took the job at Mound City or Fulton or Raytown South, I felt I was going to be at that school forever. I gave them everything I had. And when I got the job at Raytown South, brand new school, beautiful facilities, and I was committed to Raytown South and the players who chose to play basketball. I never went around begging any youngster to play. The kid, I told the basketball season starting, and then once we got the program rolling, they knew in the summers, there's going to be some self-discipline on their part to be at the gym. I had the gym open. My job as a coach, and I think the same job of a history teacher, is to provide every youngster the opportunity to succeed. And my commitment to Raytown South was, we, to put it blunt, we were going to win. And by winning, it helps a youngster feel, have a good self-image. I don't think, you know, there's nothing wrong with losing. You're going to lose some. But I believe in winning. I believe in winning in life. I believe in youngsters winning in life, getting an education, becoming a dentist, becoming a doctor. That's winning. Any can buy, anyone can be a someone. I wanted our players and our students at South High School who had a gym class, I wanted them to be not someone, I wanted them to be a somebody. And my, I have so many tremendous memories of when we started and Rockers in 1965 beat us 90 to 30. And I went home and told my wife, that will never happen again. And it didn't. And then we beat Rockhurst in the state championship in 1970. And, uh, but the greatest thing that I have as a coach now retired, and you have it some as you're coaching, but the time goes so fast, you don't have time to think about it. But all the memories and all the phone calls and all the Christmas cards and all the stop bys of my house by the former players. And we've had all kinds of youngsters. You know, there's a, I think at one stretch we won 19 conference championships in a row, lost one, and then won 18 more in a row. And we're playing in one of the toughest conferences at the time, the Big Seven, and in those days they called it. But I'm proud of all of that. But I'm just as proud of the youngsters who've gone on and they have a good family. That maybe they have a, a good job, such as a doctor or a lawyer. But other ones have jobs, maybe selling televisions, maybe selling insurance. My goal was to try to make them successful and be prepared in life. And that's why the time thing, if we practice at 2.30, I wanted them to be there at 2.30, not 2.35, not 2.40, 2.30. Because when you get a job in life and the guy says, your day starts at 8, he expects you to be there at 8. And not go in looking like you just got out of bed. Not dressed right. Go interview for a job, not dressed right, and see if you get the job. That I spend as much of my time coaching the youngsters about life as I did basketball. And I'm proud of that. And it will be with me forever. It, it's something that's in your heart. And it was in my heart when I would go up there in the summer with no air conditioning in our gym. 100 degrees outside and open the gym. And all kinds of kids came. That story, the movie, you know, Bill and they'll come. We opened the gym and they came. And some of them weren't football players or basketball players, I'm sorry. 
Some were football, some were track, some were kids who just wanted to come up and watch. And we in the 60s, Warren Armstrong, the McMurray brothers, they came out to our gym because there wasn't any gyms open. We welcomed everyone that came and wanted to come and get better. And I did on them sometimes too. But the greatest thing about all of it, not one lost ball, not one fight, not one argument. In all the years we opened the gym in the summer, nothing. They played and they played hard and sometimes we'd say six to eight. That's how long we're gonna be here on a Tuesday night. The kids are in there, it was eight o'clock, they were still going at it. It went to 10 o'clock. I ain't here, and I never got paid one dime. And that's another thing about coaching, especially high school. If you're doing it for the money, don't do it, because you're not going to make that much money. If my wife had the taught, I'd still be working. And it's not the money. And I'd like to make this point. As a coach, I never won a state championship. I never won the North Kansas City Tournament. I never won the district tournament. My players did. And I never walked out on the floor, ever, to get a trophy from a tournament. State, district, invitational, the players walked out. And my greatest thrill of all was standing there at the end of the gym, whether it was Hearns Arena, Keel Auditorium, or in Springfield, and I stood back under the goal and watch those 15 kids walk out there and get that championship trophy. Something they probably never dreamed of or some uh, one or two of them may have, but seeing them accomplish something in their life that can never be taken from them. They did it right. We had them do it right. And I was blessed, I had good players. But some years we didn't have good players necessarily. We lost our top five the year before. We come back and won 24 games the next year with five starters, first year starters, they ever start. So to me, the, the part of the coaching that means the most is what some of my players have gone on and done after they played for us. And I get many phone calls and great letters from youngsters. I still call them youngsters and they're 50. Saying, Coach, how much they loved you. You can't buy that. You can't buy a state championship. You can't buy love. Thank you, Coach. We'd like to thank you for joining us on the Coach's Corner. You're welcome. I enjoyed being here. Thank you for joining us again on Coach's Corner, and we'd also like to thank our sponsors of Chipotle, and we hope that you go by and visit them for lunch or dinner. Thank you again, and we hope to see you next time.